everyone's down to 1500 here. Now, our Toy Story 1's 29th anniversary for this month of November, but also mainly Toy Story 2's 25th anniversary for 2024 this year, this month also. So we'll be taking a look back at these D23 Expo 2019 exclusive 1500 limited edition black and white Talking Woody's Roundup Gang members. This exclusively to D23 Expo 2019 in honor of Toy Story 2's 20th anniversary by the Disney Store. Let's get into it. Starting off with the packaging, each one comes in. Each figure comes in really nice packaging that's styled in a 1950s TV style packaging with dark brown and tan colors that's branded as Bud Tone. Got a nice clear plastic window up each of the characters that's in black and white. Each character has like the Mickey Mouse ears sticker on them that says D23 Expo 2019. They all have the Wigs Roundup logo printed on the front of their boxes on the clear plastic windows. It says starring different characters you get. Starring Sheriff Woody, starring Jesse the Yelling Cowgirl, starring Bullseye. There's the Bud Tone like logo below them. It has some really nice details on like the knobs and buttons on the packaging. Got some pretty nice details. We got like the knobs, the buttons, the numbers. Which one says Talking Action Figure, limited edition 500. Same thing given in French. There's a warning sticker on each of them just because you know each figure takes three R44 batteries. It's two different buttons. And lower right corners of each box, plus edges three and up. Not gonna waste time on the top or the sides of the box because they're just blank, there's nothing. So nothing too special. I'm not gonna waste too much time on the bottom of the boxes. They're all basically the same. They have a lot of multi-language translation on the bottom of their boxes. And also a picture that shows how you changed the batteries. Each figure takes three R44 batteries. As all the new or Disney Store Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye dolls each take three R44 batteries. So nothing too important, really. In the back of the boxes, we got an image of each one of the characters. We also got the Toy Story logo on the back. Disney Pixar Toy Story. We got some more details on the TV packaging. This, each character is what they say and do. Woody says six character phrases. Jesse has five character phrases. And Bullseye says press here for galloping sounds. There's Disney logo at the bottom, just warnings and stuff. There's some like fake screw details that are pretty on, which is pretty nice. Each one has like the barcode in like the lower corners of the boxes. I'll bring the camera closer and show you guys. So here's an up close view of Woody's barcode on the back of his box. The original retail price for each one of these was $69.95 in the US, basically $70. In Canada, they were $97.95, basically $100. So basically, these each originally retail for $70 in the U.S. and $100 in Canada. So basically, altogether, in the U.S., they were $210 total. And altogether, in Canada, they were $300. I mean, honestly, as rare as all three of these are, total of all three of them cost me around $700 or $800 total for all three of them. So that's it for the packaging that all three of them come in. And these boxes are made of heavy-duty cardboard, so they're pretty durable. The guys may notice that that's like some minor like wear and scratch marks on them. That Woody and Bullseye's tape seals in the back are unfortunately broken because I bought them from the same seller. Jesse, I bought from a different seller. But I don't think the boxes are in that bad of a condition. I'm just glad that, you know, they're still, you know, new in box and that they haven't been removed. So I'm not complaining about that. Without further ado, let's get on to the characters themselves. Now, take a look at all three of these figures through the clear plastic windows of the boxes for each of them. Y'all may recognize these figures are basically the same models as the Toy Story 4 Toy Detector, Talking Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye Dolls that Disney Store released the same year. But those ones were in color, and they had the whole toy detector or interactive feature where they could talk and interact with themselves or any other toys from the range. Or they could also lock like new phrases depending on who they were paired with. So nothing too special, really. These guys are just the Toy Story 4 Toy Detector Talking Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye dolls released for Toy Story 4 in 2019 that Disney Store also released besides these ones. These are just the Toy Story 4 Toy Detector ones recolored in black and white, basically. As you see in their boxes, they do have some, like, some pretty nice Woody's Roundup TV show backgrounds inside. Like the saloon, the barn, the schoolhouse, even like cactuses, like barrels. Jesse has one of her critters, the beaver in there. Bullseye has like a, a tree. So they got some pretty nice ways to up TV show, you know, details inside. Now, as for talking features, Woody and Jesse, like any other Woody and Jesse dolls, you can pull the strings on their back here and talk. 
In Bullseye, like Disney Store's Galloping Bullseye, you would press his right ear to hear galloping sounds. Now, unfortunately, you can't really try these guys out, and you can't get the batteries out of them without taking them out of the box, which I'm not going to take them out of the box because, you know, people will get mad because it'll decrease their value. But if you guys may have or may not have noticed, these guys actually do have functional buttons in the lower right corners of the boxes for each of them. See, look, right down there, I can see, look. So they do have tiny buttons that are plugged into them when you get them in the box. Kind of got think with toys to do with some of their Toy Story collection figures back in 2009 and 2010, like Rex, RC, Mr. Tailhead, Lasso, Bullseye. So you can press those buttons and try them out in the box, though. Now, these have all been tested out, and they do work, of course. I mean, if you watch my boxing for Woody and Jesse, they do still work after five years of being in the box since 2019. Now, unfortunately, Bullseye does not work. His batteries are dead, but I will have to throw in the audio clip of what, you know, he would do. So, without further ado, let's press the buttons and see what each one of them does. We'll start with the man himself first, Sheriff Woody. All right, that's it for Woody. Now let's move on to the roughest, toughest cowgirl in the whole West, Jesse the Yodeling Cowgirl. Alright, that's it for Jesse. Now let's move on to Woody's trusty steed, Bullseye. So those are all the phrases and features that all three of them do. I really like that Woody and Jesse have Tom Hanks and Joan Cusack's original voices with phrases that we hear from them in the Woody's Roundup TV show in Toy Story 2. Woody technically has like at least three phrases. The other three phrases are him seeing the Tom Hanks version of You Got a Friend of Me that we see what he's seeing on TV and what he's around a TV show in Toy Story 2. I mean, it's just him seeing it. I mean, this one doesn't have the guitar playing, as you may have noticed. It's really the only way doll to have Tom Hanks' original voice, you may have noticed, compared to all the other way dolls that have been released for the past 29 years that have always been Tom Hanks' brother, Jim Hanks. I like Jesse as Jim Cusack's original voice, that she has phrases from the Woody's Roundup TV show as well. And she has that phrase you can faintly hear her say on the Woody's Roundup TV show in Toy Story 2. The last one, which is, Sheriff Woody, I knew you'd make it. As for Bullseye, I think out of all three of them, he's the most disappointing one to set. He has the same short galloping sounds. I mean, th and those sounds are used on the toy detector Bullseye that Disney Store released the same year as this one. Except that one's in color and, you know, he's way cheaper. And can interact with our Toy Story toys from the Toy Detector line by Disney Store. I do wish this Bullseye could have at least done what, you know, the Toy Story collection Bullseye had. He did so much more. Sure, he had galloping sounds too, but he also would vibrate when he made the galloping sounds. Plus, he had horse sounds, and you press the button twice, he could play the instrumental or the piano version of the Woody's Roundup theme song. I do wish this Bullseye could have been like the Toy Story collection Bullseye. Or not, it's still great figures overall. Oh, um, just in case if you guys didn't hear Woody and Jesse that well, I'm going to bring the camera up closer to their boxes so you guys can hear them better if you couldn't hear them that well. We sit together and we see 
These are really nice figures. Definitely one of Disney Store's best ones. I think Woody and Jesse, I would definitely give them an S rank because they have the original voices of Tom Hanks and Joan Cusack's original voices with phrases from the Woody's Round of TV show. Bullseye, I'll give an A minus or B because he doesn't do anything special compared to what Woody and Jesse do. I do wish Disney Store could have at least made Bullseye do something better. Overall, these are really great figures. I think Disney Store did a pretty good job on these. I mean, I really like how Woody and Jesse have Tom Hanks and Joan Cusack's original voices with phrases from the Woody's Roundup TV show. I do wish the Disney Store could have at least made Bullseye do something a lot more, but they just have the same light and galloping sounds that the toy detector Bullseye has that's in color and is way cheaper. This Bullseye should have at least been like a Toy Story collection Bullseye, where he had galloping sounds too, but he also vibrated. He had horse sounds and he played the instrumental version of the Woody's Roundup theme song. But these are still really great figures. I would highly recommend you pick these up for your Toy Story collection if you are a fan of these. So that was my review of the D23 Expo 2019 exclusive 10500 limited edition talking black and white Woody's Roundup Gang Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye figures. Overall, these are really great figures. I would highly recommend these for your Toy Story collection if you are a fan of them. If you want to get these today, you can, of course, find them on eBay like I did with mine. I didn't buy all three of them together. I got them all at different times. Woody was a bit of a late birthday present in March of 2024 this year. For around like 200 or 300 plus shipping. Jesse I got later in like April or May of 2024. I think 200 or 250 with free shipping. The Bullseye I got from the same seller I got away from around, I believe like August. For around only like 200 plus shipping. So overall these are great figures. If you can find them for a good deal like I do with mine. I would highly recommend, do not buy all three of them together. A full set of these can go for around the $1,000 ranges, but just an eBay listing for just one of them is around the $100 price ranges, maybe like $200, $300, $400, or $500. I once saw the Woody on eBay for $1,000 by himself, which was ridiculous. So do you plan picking these up for your, your Toy Story collection on eBay? I would highly recommend you just try to get them one at a time. Just like, make it Woody first, because he's the more softer one for Tom Hanks' original voice. Then make it with Jesse or Bullseye next. Woody's probably the more softer one compared to Jesse and Bullseye, because he's the only way to have Tom Hanks' original voice. Bullseye, I mean, you should try again for a good deal. He's not really special compared to Woody and Jesse in the set, because, you know, he has the same light and galloping sounds that the Toy Tector one has. So if you do try to get Bullseye, try to find him for, uh, you know, a pretty low deal. And Jesse, I think you can hopefully find for a pretty low deal, too. So, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you have any questions or requests or anything, please feel free to leave a comment below down in the comment section. Feel free to join my Discord group. There's a link in the description. If you'd like to see more video reviews and content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.